Board of Health just unanimously approved a groundbreaking rule that's forcing New York City chain restaurants to warn diners about salt content. CBS 2's Alana Gold explains the changes the public will now see on menus. To, uh, the Board of Health has passed a rule that's the first of its kind in the country. That means the public will start seeing these warning symbols at roughly 3,000 chain restaurants across New York City. Establishments that have more than 15 locations will now have to put these salt shaker symbols on the menus by items that have at least 2,300 milligrams of sodium. That's the recommended maximum daily intake. Would this make you think twice about ordering a certain item on a menu? Absolutely. I mean, now when I go shopping, I always look at, uh, you know, the labels to see the contents of sodium so I think it's important I think it's helpful I think it's a good idea especially for someone like me who has high blood pressure how do you think the public would respond to this I think it'll be the same thing when they kind of put the calories up. It's going to make people more angry than anything. The new guidelines, an effort to help diners make healthier decisions and be aware of how much salt they're eating. 2,300 milligrams of sodium is equivalent to about one teaspoon of salt. Some doctors say even that's too much, increasing the risk of high blood pressure, potential heart attacks, strokes, and heart disease. So many times the one meal will supersede the daily limit of how much sodium or salt we should have in our diet. Well, studies have found that 9 out of 10 people actually exceed that, and the average intake is over 3,000 milligrams on a daily basis. But not everyone welcomes the changes. Some restaurants call them a misguided step and a potentially costly one to reconstruct menus. The New York State Restaurant Association just released this statement. It is disappointing the Department of Health has decided to go forward with sodium menu warning labels when more comprehensive federal regulations take effect next year. The Board of Health says the restaurants will have to make the menu changes by December, but a specific date has not been set. In Lower Manhattan, Ilana Gold, CBS 2 News.